Hello Electroheads! The reason I started this channel four years ago was because even though I love electric cars, electric bikes and electric scooters, the industry was so new that it felt a bit like the Wild West. Most people I spoke to just didn't know where to start when it came to choosing the right electric vehicle for their needs. And this was especially exaggerated in the e-bikes category because almost every company in the market was brand new. How do you know which brand to trust if you've never heard of any of them, you've never ridden any of them, and none of your mates have ever ridden any of them either? I'm dying. So that is where Electroheads was born, a global movement to help people choose good quality, viable alternatives to petrol cars and increasingly underfunded public transport systems. We now have 100,000 people who have joined us on this global movement by subscribing to the channel. And the data we have from audience surveys and sales data suggests that we've been responsible for the sale of around 50,000 electric cars, bikes and scooters globally. This time last year, we were looking at these sorts of numbers, working out how much money that a generated for other people and wondering why we're all over here living off hot noodles and toast in a tiny office struggling to keep the lights on with YouTube's paltry ad revenue. I've got nothing left. Out of all the electric form factors, I'm personally most passionate about electric bikes and my co-presenter Rich loves electric scooters. So we decided to open a shop where we stock the best bikes and scooters that we have ridden, all from brands that we know and trust. And we went out and got investment so we could hire a customer service team, open up a showroom in London and build an online store so that we could sell globally. So my job now is wonderful. We get sent dozens of bikes and scooters every single week by brands who want to put their products in front of the Electroheads army and I test them and decide which ones are worthy of your attention and your money. So today I'm rounding up offerings from seven electric bike brands I love and trust and whose products come in under £2,000. Yes, £2,000 is categorically a large amount of money for anybody, especially in the current economic climate. But when you use split payment options or government cycle schemes, the monthly cost of bikes featured today ends up being cheaper than getting the bus, train or car for a month. For a month. We do have sub £1,000 options at Letcherheads and we are looking to get more of them. But frankly, most of the ones we get sent for testing just don't stand up to scrutiny so we don't want to recommend you something that seems affordable at front but ends up falling apart after a year let's get into it First up is Estali, a brand we love here at Electroheads. We've sold hundreds of Estali bikes to you gorgeous Electroheads viewers, and the fault rate on their products is one of the lowest out of our whole range. If you're in the market for an electric commuter bike that folds into a compact form factor, then this is one of the best value options on the market. But let me warn you up front, the E16 is all about being compact, being easy to store away, and is aimed at people who will be doing shorter commutes that might be combined with train or bus legs. With a solid range of 30 31 miles and a weight of only 16 kilograms, you will struggle to find a bike with a range and weight ratio like the Astali. On the bike's display, you can choose from five different levels of assist, with level five requiring basically no effort at all from the rider to keep the bike moving. On top of that, you have a high quality Shimano 7 speed gear set, which gives you the option of putting this bike in the easiest gear and sailing up hills and inclines. The Astali comes with a UK legal 250 watt 40 Newton meter motor. Now we have tested this out on an incline of 15%, it managed to climb that hill with a 100 kilogram rider. You may be worried about commuting in those darker and rainier days of the year, as we all can, but you can spec the E16 with mud guards, pannier racks, and other optional extras for added comfort and ease. I'll drop a full written review of all these bikes in the description of this video, by the way, so you can get more info and opinion if you would like. If you do want to stick to YouTube, then check out my full review right here. But if you can afford the space of a 20 inch wheel, you might want to look at the Astali E20, which is effectively the same bike, but with 20 inch wheels. Folding both sizes of the Astali is very simple and only takes a few seconds with the secure latch on the frame and folding down handlebars and pedals makes it very easy to store. Astali also offer a larger electric bike at a reasonable price and with front suspension as standard. With larger 28 inch wheels, the E28 becomes a perfect electric bike if you're looking for a commuter with speed. Featuring a 375 watt hour battery, you can rack up to 50 miles of range, plenty to get the average commuter to and from the office. The E28 also doubles up as a great leisure bike. With that little bit of added suspension that comes with it, it's enough to take the edge off of bumps in the road and you could probably get away with using this bike on light trails. No, it's not probably, you can. 
you can get away. Estali have made sure to include large 180 millimeter mechanical brakes. Good brakes is something that we really value here at Electroheads and is always an important factor when we test our bikes. Now this bike is not folding, so if you're happy to settle for a bike that is going to take up a little bit more room, the payoff is immense. You'll choose this over costly public transport any day. Even your car's gonna feel neglected. And if you're worried about your new e-bike being left on the street, I can easily pick up the E28 and carry it upstairs. So you should be able to bring it inside if you live in a flat. Check out my full review on YouTube by clicking the link above. Next up is another favorite brand of mine, a Deez Oasis. And one bike that I've become particularly smitten with is the ADO Air 20. It's a fantastic option under the 2K mark that's affordable, light and versatile, and has been another big seller for us. People walk in for a test ride and walk out with a brand new e-bike. Weighing just under 18 kilograms plus a smaller frame, it's easy to lift and carry up and down stairs and has a smart walk assist, perfect for when you need to push the bike uphill. With 20 inch wheels, it strikes the perfect balance between stability and maneuverability. It's neither too big nor too small, offering a comfortable ride and convenient folding ability for storage. Not only is it practical and very good looking, but the ride quality is also impressively smooth and powerful with its 250 watt 42 newton meter motor you accelerate up to the 15.5 mile per hour limit in no time and pits you to the first position at the traffic lights the cleverly hidden battery in the seat post adds to that sleek look of the bike and is easily removable this means you can take it with you when you need to lock the bike up in public making it less appealing to thieves Plus, you can conveniently charge it wherever you go. But to be honest, thanks to its smaller size, I've always ended up storing the bike inside wherever I've gone. Priced at 1249 at the time of filming, lower than the last time we reviewed this bike, which you can find right here, it's an incredibly well-priced top-notch folder. Trust me on this one. But how can I talk about ADO without mentioning the beast? It's a chonky bike compared to the air, and definitely not for everyone. Not for me. But despite its bold demeanor, it comes in at a very modest 139 at the time of filming. When you first look at this bike, you're probably thinking, <laughs> wow, those are some big tires. Well, you know what they say. Yeah, these are super grippy 20 by four inch tires and they're gonna be giving you unparalleled traction and confidence on a variety of different terrains from urban streets to rugged trails. You can feel confident that this bike will not slip out from under you. And don't let its price tag fool you. The ADO Beast is packed with premium features that you'd expect from bikes costing twice as much. With this larger 14.5 amp hour battery, you can enjoy extended rides without worrying about running out of power for up to a range claim of 120 kilometers. Oh, off. But realistically, I would expect the real world range to be about 60% of that. Plus, its suspension ensures a smooth and comfortable ride, absorbing bumps and vibrations along the way. On top of all of that, you have hydraulic brakes, a seven speed gear set, mud guards, front and rear lights to keep you seen. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, maybe the beast is for you. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Right, Electra Heads, if you are interested in any of these electric bikes that are featured in this list call today, then what are you gonna do? You're gonna head on over to the website and you're gonna book yourself a test ride right here in our London Bridge showroom, which means you get to come and meet the gang. And if you somehow manage to find any of these e-bikes cheaper elsewhere, then please do email hello at electraheads.com and we will be sure to match that price. And if you've got any questions about the bikes at all, email that same address and we'll be sure to give you guys a helping hand. Next up is another favorite of mine. I know, I sound like a broken record. I'm sorry. It's like picking who's your favorite kid. It's impossible. Not to me, okay? This is the On Bike U4, a bike that is bound to catch attention and is a fantastic competitor to the much spendier Van Moof. I actually compare the two in this video right here. The On Bike U4 looks incredible and is packed with smart features. Fitted with a gyroscope sensor, the U4 will know when you need more power on the hills. So despite having just a single carbon belt drive, it doesn't struggle. Now talking of hills, when you come down them, being able to stop is always a bonus. Am I right? Maybe. But the dual mechanical brakes included means you shouldn't have any problems. The U4 is also able to hold its sleek, batteryless look thanks to a clever design that mounts the battery to the top tube. You can get a range of up to 100 kilometers on the battery and 10,000 kilometers on the belt drive. The whole bike is designed to make your riding as relaxed and carefree as possible with ergonomic design throughout from the comfortable grips, super soft seat that our customers have commented on and design with only smooth edges allowing for easy carry if you need to. If you're commuting at night, the OnBike has an integrated front light and rear rechargeable light as well. 
I'm a big fan and I would love to know your thoughts on this one. So make sure to get it down in the comments below. Next on my list today is a stellar brand from a couple of lovely guys who are on a mission to shake up the e-bike market, build retro style e-bikes they love that work as well as they look. Cinch offered two different bikes that come in under our 2K price cap of this video. This is the Cinch Super Monkey and this is the Longtail, a fun retro cruising bike with fat tires. Both have the same spec with a 250 watt motor, 15 amp hour battery for a range of up to 40 miles, front forks and a Shimano 7 speed. However, the Longtail has an added seat for a passenger. So if you're fed up with rising petrol costs just to drive your friends around, the Cinch could be for you. Put them on the back of this and you will probably get to your destination faster as well. In fact, I actually made a video of my best mate doing just that. So click the link above to watch them double trouble on a commute to work. The Cinch also has a removable battery to take some of the worry away when locking up your bike. Next up on my list is one of our latest e-bikes to arrive on our marketplace. It is Beamio. Beam us up, Scotty. Who are Beamio, you ask? They're a UK-based, family-run e-bike business that wants to help bring joy to your life through electric bicycles. This joy can come through stress-free commutes on your new Beamio bike or knowing you're making a more sustainable choice and saving a bunch of money too. Smug Level 1000 activated. Yeah, I like to be a part of the solution and not part of the problem. This is the fabulous Beamio Classic featuring a 250 watt rear drive motor with a range claim of between 18 to 38 miles. Although in our testing so far, it definitely seems to be at the higher range of the scale. If you're looking to make the switch to E and are used to a regular sporty design bike, the Classic may be a good option for you to consider as it maintains that low handlebar sporty setup. The Classic features mechanical brakes and seven speed Shimano gears and what makes the classic stand out is the comfortable grip saddle with just that little bit of suspension underneath which does make a difference especially as this bike has no suspension now it wouldn't be a top seven electric bike brand under two thousand pounds unless we included a bike for those of you wanting an off-roading bike that is not going to break the bank that bike is the ampere x trail it's a well-priced versatile electric mountain bike for those of you who want to spend more time off-road than on it costing at the time of filming one thousand five 599 pounds. Its 120 millimeter forks to absorb shocks and larger tires makes it ideal for its primary function, mountain biking. Choose between the 29 inch wheel, which are really good for those more technical trails and to roll over all those bumps in the road, or 27.5 inch wheels that will be a faster, more nimble ride. The Extra has a powerful 65 newton meter motor and a range of up to 55 miles, so you can spend longer durations off-road. It also comes with hydraulic disc brakes, something which is very important when it comes to building a mountain bike. We are happy to see that Amper have not missed this off the list when it comes to building a good mountain bike. Now, last but not least, and a little bit different to the other bikes we have featured in this video today, is an e-bike from a scooter. Taking a first look at this, you may think, that's a moped. You're a hat. But I can confirm it's not. This is the Escooter SX250. It has been a popular choice in a growing market catering to food delivery services, likely for the reasons I'm about to tell you. Get on with it. This bike is free to park. There's no tax and completely UK legal as you still have to cycle the pedals to engage the electric motor. In terms of spec, what do you get for under £2,000? Well, there's a 250 watt motor, 46 volt battery pack, and a range of 40 to 50 miles. So it's a great option for city rides, especially as you can add on rear storage. On top of all of that, the SX250 is fitted with an immobilizer alarm and keyless go, lights, and lockable front box. It may be the perfect solution for those who want a scooter, but don't yet have a license. Now, technically you can ride these things legally from the age of 14, but that is like any electric bike. Motor & Wash actually took this bike out for a spin around London. So if you want the full review, then click the link above. Right, Electroheads, that is it from me today. Let me know down in the comments which e-bike in this listicle stole your heart. Have you got a bike from any one of these brands? What's your experience been? Let me know down in the comments. And if you do have any questions about the bikes, feel free to hit up our online store. There's a customer service chat with a service team who can talk to you and help you with your questions or just drop a comment down below and we'll do our best to try and answer them for you. Do not forget to like and subscribe for more electric bike news and reviews and I'll see you for the next one.